Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve code forces round 10093 problem C. Sor and triangle. The pink soldiers have given you an integer x. Please determine if there exists a positive integer y that satisfies the following condition. That y is strictly less than x and there exists a non-degenerate triangle with the side lengths x, y and x zor y. Okay, so basically we have to find a value of y. We are given x and our task is to find y. Such that these three values can form a triangle. Now what is the condition for formation of a triangle? The condition is given below over here. And there is one more condition for y. That y that we are finding should be less than x. Strictly less than x. So the input format is there is number of test cases and then there is only one integer input that is the value of x and you have to print the value of y okay and suppose if there exists a value of x for which there is no possible value of y you just have to output minus one okay and if there exist multiple integers that satisfy the condition you may output any so our answer needs not to be unique but we have to find an answer if there exists so how will we approach this problem so there is one brute force that comes to mind just let's just run a loop yeah let's just run a loop from one to less than x okay let's say our y value is this i and then our another side is going to be x or y right and let's just check that if a triangle can be formed using the sides x y or z then we can simply say that y is our answer and if we get out of the loop we can simply return minus one you can try out this solution but you will get a TLE error reason being the value of x is very big you can't check all the possibility the x goes up until 10 raised to the power of 9 so this is a brute force this is a brute force and now we have to think of optimizing it uh, but is the optimal solution coming from the brute force let's think about it so what we are trying to find is we are trying to find three sides of a triangle one side is given to us right x is given it's given to us by the user what are we trying to find we're trying to find y y is to be found and z comes out automatically z is simply x dot y okay and what conditions do we have to satisfy for it to be a non-degenerate triangle for it to be a true triangle well this we, we all know that in a triangle the sum of two sides should be greater than the third one it means that x plus y should be bigger than z right z plus x should be greater than y and y plus z should be bigger than x these are the three conditions that must be satisfied remember we are trying to find the value of y which is less than x isn't it y has to be lesser than x okay so if you see the second condition over here if you see the second condition it will be automatically satisfied it is automatically satisfied it can be rewritten as y is less than x plus z but our constraint says that y is already less than x right so it will definitely be less than x plus z right if you're trying to find a value of y which is already less than x the second condition is automatically satisfied if you satisfy this okay so now we have to satisfy basically this condition and this third condition right the second condition is automatically satisfied okay now x plus y should be bigger than z and z is nothing but x zor of y so let's try to rewrite it let's try to rewrite this i can rewrite this as x plus y should be bigger than x zor y the other condition is this which i can rewrite as y plus now z is what x or y should be bigger than x okay this is my another condition that i need to satisfy so these are the only two conditions that i need to satisfy to find the value of y now over here we see addition operation and we see the xor operation over here as well we see addition operation and the xor operation so is there any relation is there any formula that relates the addition with the xor we have to think about it okay because if we are trying to solve optimally uh bit manipulation is the topic that should come to our mind right there has to be something hidden in bit manipulation let's try to 
understand it from the very basic let's say if i ask you to add two binary numbers if i ask you to add two binary numbers okay let's say one of the numbers is one zero one zero something like this and the other number is something like one 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 and one let's say let's say we are adding two binary numbers okay addition addition is the operation that we're trying to do okay. okay so what do we used to do we start with the least significant bit okay we add them okay so zero and one uh, if you add 0 and 1, we get 1, right? Okay. I write 1. Okay. Uh, the second number is 1 and 1. Uh, what do we used to do in this case? Uh, when it's 1 and 1, we write it as 0, right? And we say there is a carry. Okay. We say there is a carry. This one goes in the carry, right? It goes in the carry. Okay. Okay. Now, a thing of observation over here. Whenever I see 0 and 1, I write 1. Okay, whenever I see 1 and 1, I write 0. And yeah, whenever I see, whenever, whenever I see 0 and 0, I'll write 0, right? Like if it's just, if there is no carry over here, uh, if 0 and 0 gets added up, I get to write 0. Okay. Uh, what kind of operation is that? Like if you forget about addition, uh, does it has any, does it has any similarity with any other operation? 0 and 1 gives you 1. So when the bits are different, you get 1. And when the bits are same, 1 and 1, you get 0. Okay, so there is zone. There is ZOR involved here, right? So basically, if I'm adding X plus Y, it's like ZORing X and Y, but you'll say no. Like, uh, what about this? Like, what about the carry, right? What about the carry? There is there's a carry over here, okay? But the carry is taken by the, the left bit, right? The bit that is left to it. So if I transfer the one over here, isn't it like a left shift? It's like a left shift, right? It's like a left shift of one, isn't it? Left shift by 1 is similar as multiplication by 2, right? So we need to add something, right? We need to add 2 multiplied with the value that this bit holds, right? So what do I need to multiply 2 with? I need to multiply the 2 with the value that this bit is holding, right? This bit is holding. So this is only true when the both when both the bits are set, right? If one of the bit is 0, uh, there is no carry, right? There is no carry, okay. So carry, carry happens only if both the bits are set, right? Carry happens only if both the bits are set. Now, how do we check if both the bits are set? Something like AND operation, right? And AND operation can check if both the bits are set. And if you take an AND operation, you will get the value. If I take the AND operation over here, I get the value 1, right? And I need to left shift it by 1, right? I need to left shift it. So, I need to multiply this 2 with A and B. Okay, so that's the relation that I have between ZOR and addition. So this is the thing that we need to understand in order to solve this problem optimally that when you add two numbers it's same as drawing them and adding their and value multiplied with two because the carry actually shifts by one to the left and left shift is equivalent of multiplication by two okay so this is the formula that we are going to use to solve this question now let's see so this was the key point if you knew this formula this question was super easy so now these are our conditions Let's take a copy of them, okay? And this is the formula that we are going to use. So I wrote A and B, it should be X and Y, right? Because it's X and Y's that we have. So now let's try to simplify the inequalities using this formula that we derived. Okay, so X plus Y should be bigger than X or Y. Okay, so let's just substitute the value of X plus Y from here. Should be bigger than X or Y. Now, since x is or of y is on the both the sides, let's cancel them out. So we're left with, which leaves us with x and y bigger than 0. In general case, what happens? Like when you take an AND operation between x and y, it becomes 0 sometimes. This should not be happening. This is this should not be happening. One is it that when you take an AND operation between two numbers, the output is 0. Oh, well, it happens when none of the two set bits are seen. So, for example, if you have x as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, and if you have y as 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 0, something like this. So, you see, there is no single set bit that are same, right? For example, y has a set bit here, but x does not, right? So, <clears throat> it means that this should not be happening, right? We, we don't have to make it 0. We don't have to have a y such that the AND operation is 0. So what is the solution to this? Well, Y should have 
a set bit that is same as x. Okay, so y should have a set bit, at least one set bit that is same as x. Then only we can avoid this from happening, right? And we can satisfy this. Okay, let's talk about the second equation. So over here, we don't have an x plus y, we have x or y. So I can write the value of x or y from this equation. So the value of x or y, by rearranging this equation, we'll have x plus y minus 2 x and y, right? So let's just use this in our second inequality. Now since x is there on both the sides, we can cancel it out. Okay, so we get 2y is bigger than 2 x and y the twos can cancel and we get y is bigger than x and y now what does this mean well we know that when we take an and operation between two numbers the resultant is always smaller than or equal to the numbers that we have taken and between okay but in the worst case what can happen that x and y can be can become equal to y right now this thing over here should not be happening right this should not be happening now, how do I avoid this? Because we have to satisfy this condition, right? So, the only way to satisfy this inequality is that we prevent this from happening. Okay, when does this happen? Well, it happens when all the set bits of y are also present in x. Again, it happens when all the set bits of y is also present in x. So, for example, if x is 10101, zero, one, zero, one, and y is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, something like this. You see, all the set bits of y is also there in x. And if you take an AND operation between the two, you will get y again. This kind of thing should not be happening. Okay. This should not happen. Okay. So, what do we need? How, so, how do we avoid this? Well, to avoid that, y should have a set bit which is not present in x. Right. Y should have a set bit that is not present in x. y should have at least one set bit that is same as x and y should have at least one set bit that is not present in x. So there has to be one set bit that is same as x and there has to be one set bit that is not there in x. We just have to satisfy these two conditions. And what is one more condition? Well, one more condition is that that y should be less than x. Okay. So let's 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 check it out. Let's check it out for some for some number. Let's take 11. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Let's take out 11. Right. Let's take out 11. And what is the binary representation of 11? Okay, so seeing the first condition, y should have at least one set bit that is same as x. Okay, so let's say y set bit is this one. Okay, I'm just creating y. I'm just creating a y. So I see a set bit over here in 11. So let's say, okay. Okay, and what is the second condition? Y should have a, a set bit that is not present in x. Okay, so this is x, right? 11 is our x value that is given to us. Okay, it should have a set bit that is not present in x. Okay, so I can have two set bits, right? I can have it here and I can have it here. Uh, but if I have it over here, that will be a problem. That will be a problem because y will become bigger than x. Our condition is that red y should be strictly smaller than x, right? So I cannot put it here, okay? So, but naturally I have to put it over here, right? And what about the rest of the term? Well, fill it like anything. You just have to be careful that the value of y should not exceed x. Or okay. So let's see if it works. Well, so this is eleven. What is this number? This is five, right? This number is five. Now can we have a triangle with eleven, five, and what is the what is the XOR operation? If this is Y. What is the XOR operation that we get? Uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. Which is 14, right? So can we have a triangle with 11, 5, and 14? Sure, why not? We can have a triangle with these three sides, right? So that is going to be our approach. We need to satisfy these two conditions. So how do we implement this in our code? Well, we can go through every bit in X, okay, and check if that bit is set or not if that bit is set what we will do we will also set that bit for y okay and what do we do th after that then we again run another loop okay and check if there is a bit that is not set in x and if it is not set in x we set that bit for y because y should have at least one bit that is same as x and y should have at least also one more bit that is not present in x and if we are able to do that using this nested loop that goes through every bit if we are able to do that then we 
get our value of y because we just need to satisfy these two conditions now let's see how it works in code this is the c plus plus code implementation we first of all start with taking in the input x then we st start going through every bit okay and every time we initialize the value of y as zero and then <clears throat> what do we do we check if the ith bit in x is set or not okay so if the ith bit in x is set okay if the ith bit in x is set what do we do we basically set the bit for y because y needs to have at least one bit that is same as x right so we set that bit in y okay and now we look for a bit in x that is not set because we, we need to have a bit a bit that is set in y which is not same in which is not the same as in x so we again loop okay and we again do the same thing and if that bit is not set in x we set that in y okay and we check if the value of y that we're getting is less than x or not and if it is we have satisfied the two condition right we have satisfied the two condition over here that we talked about so we simply print the value of y and if it happens that we go through every number and we don't get a value a valid value of y we simply output the result as minus one and why do we go to 31 till 31 because it has been given that the value goes up until 10 raised to the power of 9 okay if it was 10 raised to the power of 6 10 raised to the power of 18 we would have to go till 63 okay so that's it for today you can find the full code in the description if there is any question feel free to ask in the comment section bye